In this video, I'm going to explain how to change the background color of a slide in Microsoft PowerPoint. From there, I'm going to move on to explain how to insert an image instead of using a solid color, as you can see in this slide example. Then I'm going to move on to doing a gradient and finally a pattern. So we're going to show you all of the options for changing the background, including changing the color. Let's jump over to PowerPoint, which I'm in right now, giving this presentation, and I'll explain how things work. Here I am in a PowerPoint file that contains all my thumbnails for the YouTube videos that I've been doing. I'm going to come up to the insert menu and select new slide to insert a blank slide for us to work on. There, the slide is white, so it should actually show us what we're doing quite well. Now, there's two ways to get to working with the background. The easiest is to just right click on the slide, not over an element, but over the background, and then select Format Background. That displays the format background pane here on the right. Now what I can do is I can insert a solid fill, which I'm doing now, and the color, as you can see here, is white. Or I could do a gradient, a picture, or a texture fill, and a pattern, as we're going to see in subsequent sections of this lecture. Let's start with the solid fill. So it's white right now. If I want to change the color, I just Click the downward arrow here right to the right of the color selector, and I can pick from any of these default colors. Now, these colors change based on the style that you pick for your presentation. So this is the colors for this particular style. Here's some standard colors, and here's my recent colors. Now, if I want even more colors, I could go to the color picker of which there's the standard and the custom ways of picking colors. And here I just move around my color selector. Oh, and everything is white because I don't have any of the color showing. So I can bring down and say, give me some of the color and I can move this little thing around to the color I want. Down here, I see a preview of the color and here I get the hex value for the color. This is the current color and this is the new one on top. If I come to custom colors, I get to pick from a set of colors that are kind of dispersed through that whole color spectrum. So I can pick pink or a variation of green getting darker. Now, when I'm finally happy, I click OK. If I'm not, then I click Cancel and the color will not change. Here I've changed the background color to green. Let's go back to the pull down for the color picking here. I wanted to point out some more options in the more colors here. One is that you can control the transparency of the color. So if I want this to be lighter, I could upgrade the transparency and the white should start showing through. So it becomes a lighter green. Here you can see the transparency is also selectable on the second line of the solid fill. Now the final option you have is suppose that I have a element on the screen. Let's insert a shape, like a rectangle. And I'll pull it here into the middle of the screen. Now this has its own particular color. I can come to the color selector down to the eyedropper tool, the very last option, and click on that. Now I can click on a color and notice the box shows me the color that the eyedropper is over and click on it and the background will change to that color. I'm sorry, I'm doing shape format. I come to format background and I go to the color, I do the eyedropper tool, the last option, and now I can pick the color of the box and the outside or the background will change. So that's the way to change a color of the background. 
What about other options? Well, we can do a gradient. A gradient goes from one color to another. And here you get to see the direction that you send the gradient. Do you want it to be radial? The type, the direction, is it coming from the upper right? Is it where, which direction is it moving? Or I'm sorry, that's the presets for the gradient so you can get darker or lighter. Here's the direction, so I can make it from the middle going out. This is a type radial, I can make it linear. And then here I have different direction options for linear. I can set the angle at which it comes. And then here is the color picker. So selecting the far left, that's this upper right hand corner here, or upper left hand corner, I can come here to the color picker and just like I picked the background color, I can pick a color to be the far left of the gradient. Let's say I want to go from one color to another. Right now it's going from this color to this color to this color. What if I don't want the one in the middle? Let's select that little slider. And before I delete it, note that you can control the degree by pulling the slider in either direction that the purple or the dark blue here dominate the scene. If I don't want this, I hit the little red. Remove the, uh, the color selector. If I want one back in, I hit the plus and it puts it back in an average of these two. Let's go ahead and take that out. Let's take the far right color and let's change it to, mm, let's make it red. So now, wow, we have a very bright screen. Um, this is the way that you set a gradient. So once again, gradient defaults is a quick way to get to a gradient. You can check what type it is, a linear gradient, a rectangular, and so on. You can pick the direction that the gradient goes in, the angle, and then you can start controlling the gradient stops and the color. Also notice that you can control transparency and brightness again. So that's the way you do a gradient. Let's look at the next option, which is a picture or texture fill. Now, if you do textures, which you get by default, you can pick the texture from the texture selector, and it will set the background of your slide to that texture. Textures are kind of neat. They're just little tiles that repeat and seamlessly merge together. Now, let's say we want to instead have an image. What we do is we say insert, and we get to pick images from a file, online pictures, or from icons, or stock images. I have a copy of Office 365, which means that along with that license, I get op access to stock images that I can use in any commercial or non-commercial project. So here I can go and let's say, for a, I can type in what I'd like, since this is a background, let's see what it recommends for backgrounds. This is where you can see I got the background for my slide thumbnail that we started this presentation on. Let's look at other backgrounds. Here's a nice wavy line. Let's insert that. Just double click on the image and it gets inserted. Now the other option for inserting images is to go from a file. And what I like to do is get my images from a site called Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com. This is a site that has free for commercial use or private use images. And I download them to a directory and then I can load them. Let's go load an image from my Pixabay directory. I come up to images and I go to Pixabay and here's all my free images that I loaded from Pixabay. I just double click on the image that I want and it gets loaded into the background. So that's loading images. I use either stock images or Pixabay images for the background. Let's look at the pattern. Here we have various patterns and they're all laid out here. We can pick the pattern that we like and then we can pick the foreground and the background color for this pattern. Let's say in the foreground, we want something dark. You usually put something light or 
dark, you want contrast here. So let's uh, do a light green. That would look kind of weird. Yeah, actually it looks very good. So this is the way to do a pattern. So that's it. We talked about doing a solid fill and changing the color and the transparency. Now transparency doesn't make a lot of sense <laughs> in the background because there's nothing behind it to show through. So forget about transparency, just use color to set the color back or the solid background. A gradient fill gets you, let, allows you to set multiple colors that the gradient moves through and you can pick different types. The most popular gradient fill that I use is linear. Sometimes I'll use radial. I don't use any of the other ones. You can pick the angle that the gradient is going at or pick it from the direction here. And the color and transparency, once again, doesn't make sense. Brightness might. And you can pick in a picture from stock images or from Pixabay, or pick a pattern and change the colors of the pattern. And that's the way to set not only your background color, but also anything else that you could set for your slide background.